hello and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. Today we are going to be going through an ammo guide. The 7.62x54 ammo type is fired by the Mosin SVD and SV98. The only rounds I'd recommend using for this are the 7N1 round, the SNB, the 7BT1s and the 7N37s. As you can see on screen, all of the rounds have a trade-off, either they do more damage or more penetration. Personally, I would recommend going with 7N1 rounds or SNB rounds, simply because their price and their sweet spot. The 7BT1 round and the 7N37, they do over penetration, which means they do more penetration than is necessary for any armor type in the game, and you're paying the price for that in less damage, which means a higher time to kill. Now, all of these rounds will penetrate every class of armor, within three bullets, three to four, and that's what a class is effective against any armor type. 7.62x51 can be fired by all of the weapons on screen here, as there's a lot of them, some of them fully automatic, some of them semi, and some of them bolt action. Now, the round is a little bit smaller than the 54, but it still is one of the best rounds in the game for penetration. Now, the only rounds I'd recommend using here are the M80s, M62s, and M61s all good rounds. I put the Ultra Nozzler on there so you can see what the worst penetrating round is, but the best in comparison to damage. Now I'm not entirely sure how good the Ultra Nozzler would compare for leg meta, but it's not something I'd recommend. It's not something that's usually ran as you can see by the price of it. The M62 round is the sweet spot in terms of damage and penetration, and that is the round I'd recommend, but M80 is perfectly fine and very effective against all armor types within 3-4 to four shots, so that's a good one as well for budget. Now we have 7.62x39, that's fired by, by weapons like the AKM, the Vepa 136, SKS, AK-103 and AK-104. It's a good round, but the problem is there's only really two rounds that are competitive and one is cheap, available at the beginning of the game, and one is very expensive, available at the end of the game. So, it's a weird gun to run. As you can see, BP is the best round to run, and probably the only round worth running at the end of the game. PS is a reasonable budget option, but with a 32 pen, it really is only reliable up to class 4. And HP is just, again, you could use it for leg meta, but at the end of the day, it's really not worth And here it goes to show what ammo can penetrate what armor, and BP is clearly the best choice for penetrating armor. And now we're moving on to the 556 by 45 caliber, which is the M4 platform, you know, the HKs. It's a good good ammo, but it's a, there's a bit of a disparity at the top end penetration. As you can see for the cost and the penetration and damage values, M995 is the best ammunition for the 556 variant. It has been for a long while, so if you're running any weapon you know, that's in the 556 variant, run M995. An M995 will penetrate any armor, and the other two rounds will not penetrate level 6 and War Mage will not penetrate anything. It has a penetration value of 3. It would take about 30 shots to get through a pack of vest, for example, so don't try and use that to penetrate armor. Now we're moving on to the 545 by 39 category, which is by far probably the most reliable across the board ammunition you can get. It is used by the AK-74U. AK-74 N's and M's, just the AK-74, and the RPK. So as you can see from the stats on screen, BS and 7N39 are pretty much the best rounds available. Now the real issue comes because of the fire rate of the AKs. BS and 7N39, there's a trade-off there between damage and cost. Yeah. BS and 7N39 are king here, I wouldn't bother using anything else because even one step down and you can no longer penetrate class 5 armor, which is what most people will be running within a week to two weeks of the wipe. So just buy whichever is cheaper for you, 7N39 or BS, the prices fluctuate, so just buy the cheapest. Now we're on to the .366 ammo type, and really only two guns use it, which is the AKM-209 and the VPO-215. Both have had reasonable buffs. Now like I said, these have been buffed and it really shows. Especially the EQO round now can compete with a PS 7.62 round. So before when you spawned with this weapon as a scav it was like a death sentence, but now you can actually do something with a gun, so that's good. 
Now, none of these rounds are going to go through class 4, 5 and 6 armour, but the Ikkyo and the Gexka round, no, not the Gexka, the FMJ round will penetrate 2 and 3, and the FMJ can penetrate 1 and then 2 a little bit. So, I would definitely, if you're going to run this gun, run the Ikkyo round. That's the best one for it. Then we've got the 9x19, uh, 9x19, that's pistol caliber, 9x39 caliber, which is only used so far by the VSS and the AS Val. And honestly, they're kind of really good guns, so you should probably use them as well. This is why I love doing these guides. Looking at the ammos, you know, the stats on these, all of these rounds are lethal. And I really never use VSSs or AS Vals because I'm never sure which ammunition to go with. But judging by this, you can pick any of those and be lethal with the exception of the SP5 round. Yeah, like I said before, almost all of these rounds will penetrate up to class 6 because it just fires that fast and with a penetration rate of over 40 it's just almost instantaneous. That is with the exception of, of course, the SP5 round which will only go up to class 4. And that sounds like, you know, I'm being pedantic because it sounds like it's class 4, that's fine, but it's like it actually matters because people will be running class 5 and class 6 by now. And now we're on to the last gun of the rifle calibers and that is the 12.7 by 55 and I wasn't actually sure on this because it's only fired by one weapon which is the Ash 12 the Ash 12 the Ash 12 which I thought was a shotgun and I think it technically is a shotgun but it's classed as a rifle and it fires a hell of a big round it was useless no one used it and now it's got a bit of a buff so let's have take a look at this gun Looking at the stats, the only round worth running is the PS-12B, which will penetrate up to class 6. It'll take a few shots, and that might be an issue with the Ash-12. I think it only has a 10 or a 20 round mag, and I don't think it's fully automatic. I could be wrong about that. Don't quote me. In fact, I can check. I was wrong about that. It is indeed fully automatic, but it does only have a 20 round mag maximum, so it still might be an issue. These rounds have a lot of variation, with the first round, the PS-12, not going through... Uh, the PS-12A not penetrating anything above class 1. Then the PS-12B will penetrate everything on this list up to class 6. And then the PS-12 by itself will only penetrate up to class 3. So it's a very varied round. I would always recommend just going with the PS-12B though. So let's quickly recap. 7.62 by 54 you want to go with 7N1 or SNB rounds. With 7.6 2 by 51 you'll want M61, M80 or M62 rounds. For 7.62 by 39 you will just want BP rounds, that's the only one worth using currently at this moment in time. For 5.56 you'll want M995 or if that's not unavailable or too expensive M855A1 as a backup. For 5.45 by 39 you'll want SN39 or BS rounds, whichever is cheaper they both perform reasonably similar to each other. If you were going to use the .366, I would recommend using the EKO e e ammo, but I wouldn't recommend using any gun that fires that caliber at the moment. And for 9 by 39 you want to go with BP, which is the best, or if they're not available or too expensive, you want to go for SPP, which is considered 7... Where is it? I have it here somewhere. SPP. I think it's 7 and 9. It's like got two names, SPP and 7 and 9 or SP6. Either of those rounds will do as well in a pinch. And if you're going to be using the Ash 12 or the 12x7x54, the only round I would recommend is the PS12B, which is the only one capable of PS and high level armor. And that's going to be it for this video. I plan on doing another video which is for pistol calibers, submachine gun calibers and shotgun calibers. So basically P90, the MP7, things like that. Now this guide is accurate as of 0.12.6.2 but BSG are constantly updating the ammos so this may not be relevant if you're watching this way far in the future just bear that in mind I just really wanted to make this guide a quick reference guide for rifle calibers at the moment um, doing all the ammo at once it would make it like a 20 minute video and this is just a quick easy video that people can refer back to if they need to know what round to use with what weapon before a raid I hope this video has helped you and if you know anyone else that's struggling with ammo types and ammo calibers, don't hesitate to send them this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.